Hey everybody, welcome back to Cars 924. My name is Kazama Martino and today I bring you back with another review. And just before we start with this review, I'd like for you guys just to smash the subscribe button, turn on the post notifications to be alerted when a new video drops, and share this video with your friends and family to make this channel go bigger and bigger. Guys, please, we need the support. So today we're actually reviewing something way different than we normally do, like our Golf 6 GTIs, our Golf 7 GTIs. Today is actually a sedan, so I'm actually going to give you 3 seconds to actually guess what car it is. It's a BMW 320D, the F30, the luxury line. Honestly, this car has a special place in my heart. On the exterior, so simplistic, but the interior is so beautiful and yet refined. So on the outside, the one thing that really stands out on the car are the chrome iconic BMW kidney grills, and below that as well, the chrome front lip. There's also a bit more chrome just above the fog lights, actually on either side. And wow, honestly, the front lip really stands out for me because it really has a nice simplistic look to it. And above all, all these components on the front of the car give it a very subtle yet luxurious look of which BMW has done an excellent job. And on this side, this car wears 17-inch double-spoke alloy wheels with Dunlop Eagle fires on them, which really give this luxurious BMW a fine, smooth ride and also deliver great performance on corners. And then we have our indicators integrated right into the mirrors over here. And then, of course, our luxury badge. Moving on to the specs of this car, this car is a 2 litre inline four twin turbo making about 135 kilowatts and 380 meters of torque and a sprint from 0 to 100 kilometers will take you at exactly 7.6 seconds and the average fuel economy on these BMW 320Ds is about 5.4 liters to the 100. Actually here at the back we have our four blind spot detectors, a chrome exhaust tip and a nice chrome finish here in the middle of the bumper and then of course as usual we have our red tail lights and our BMW 320D sign. So, what am I looking at here? The steering wheel. And actually, what do I have to say? It's not luxurious at all. It's quite simplistic in my opinion and honestly really doesn't look that great. But it offers really cool features for instance like the volume button, a scroll button to scroll through a music playlist, or your contacts, the decline button if you don't want to answer the person that's consistently calling you, <laughs> and the voice command button to actually command it to do whatever you want you need it to do. But honestly, the steering wheel offers so much that you might actually need. So on the right hand side we have our control knob to turn on and off the headlights. Then on the left hand side we have our start stop button to turn on and off the car. Then above that we actually have the button that will turn off the start stop feature when your car turns off when you're on the robot to actually try save petrol. Then onto our infotainment system. We've got our 7 inch display screen which is actually quite impressive in this day of age. And then below, the, below that we've got our numbers to seek through our favorite radio stations. Then we have our climate control system. We can control the cabin temperature with these buttons. They're actually very easy to use and extremely reliable. Then on the center console starting at the top, we have our small little compartment space where I doubt you will actually fit anything inside there. And then over here we have our cup holders. But if you're using them, where are you actually going to put it? The cover. BMW didn't think of that. Then we have our traction control button over here. Then our sport and eco mode button. And then our iconic BMW lever to actually shift through, drive, and then put into neutral and reverse as well. Oh, and fun fact for those who actually didn't know this. So if you want to manually shift your gears, then you push the lever onto the side. And then if you want to upshift, you pull it back. And then if you want to downshift, you actually push it forward. And then we have our control now for the infotainment system and the other buttons that actually link to that. Then moving on to the storage space. Wow, there's literally no space whatsoever. Literally, you can't even fit a novel in there. Matter of fact, if you actually put the book in there, you won't even be able to actually close the cover. But wow, they actually did kind of redeem themselves by actually providing us with the aux cable and the USB port. And this wood type finish on the dashboard and the center console really looks quite modern and complements well with the rest of the interior. So here I am at the back, and I have to say the seating position is really relaxing, thanks to these black leather seats. But in terms of knee room, I have massive space left over, and in front of my knees above my head, I have massive headroom. And at the back, you can comfortably sit in like two adults, and at least three kids at the back. But I think BMW forgot something. Where are the storage nets in the bags? Where am I supposed to keep my belongings? Watch here on the side. There's barely any space in there. And our armrest. Ugh, let's get it down. 
got an arm lift severe we can easily just relax your hand and then we have our cup holders oh, and our basic climate control system so to open up the boot there's actually two ways to do that one from the back and one from the inside and to do that from the inside there's one button just above a lever Wow, wow, wow. This beat space is extremely enormous. It offers 480 liters of beat space and I can believe that. You can easily fill in a month's worth of groceries and some clothes. And on the right hand side we have our two kit. As you can see. And on the left hand side we have our small little compartment where you can keep in your bolts and your jumper cables probably. And below this beat, and yes I said below this beat. There's more space. Wow, BMW have actually absolutely done it. So, what do I think about this BMW 320D? This car honestly doesn't look as good as its competitors like the Audi A4 and the Mercedes-Benz C-Class. But where it actually performs is in inside because it offers great reliable tech, it's extremely comfortable to sit in and offers large amounts of good space inside. Well, that actually sums up my review for today guys. If you've got any suggestions on what car you actually want me to review, put it in the uh, comments down below and I actually try my best to review that car. So I'll catch you next time. Peace.